Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have x squared minus 3x plus 1 to the power x plus 1 equals 1. And we're going to be looking for x values. So when we have 1 equals to an exponential expression, we usually have these cases. a to the power b equals 1 gives us three choices if a and b are real. First one, the first case is b equals 0 and a does not equal 0. And it doesn't have to be in this order, by the way. Second case is a equals 1. The base is 1 and exponent can be anything. So b is a real number. And the third case is a is negative 1 and b is even. Of course, when you're looking for integer solutions, this is the case because otherwise the base, when the base is negative and you don't have an integer exponent, uh, then you run into problems because the exponential function is not going to be well defined and you're going to see it on the graph that I'm going to show you at the end. So we're going to go through the cases, we're, we'll talk about the solutions and then we'll check out the graph. All right, so let's start looking at each case. The first case. Now again, our expression was the following. Equals 1. A is the base, B is the exponent. So we want B to be 0 and A to be non-zero. So here's what I want. I want x plus 1 equals 0 and x squared minus 3x plus 1 does not equal 0. If x plus 1 equals 0, then x equals negative 1. If x is negative 1, this is not going to be 0, obviously, if you plug it in. So we're good. x equals negative 1 works. This is the most prob problematic case, and we're kind of... Um, Actually, not necessarily, but anyways, let me just proceed. The second case scenario is a equals 1 and b is anything. So if a is b uh, 1 and b is a real number, then from here, our expression again, this um, original expression, the base is going to equal 1. From here, we get a simple quadratic, just like the video we we've done um, today, another video. So set it equal to 0, and then factor out. And you get two solutions, x equals 0 and x equals 3. Now, let's talk about the validity of these solutions. Are they both going to work? Well, if you plug them in, you're going to get 1 to the power something. It doesn't matter as long as the base is 1. We're good. So they're both good. x equals 0 and x equals 3. So far, we got three solutions. And let's go ahead and take a look at the third case scenario. The third case, again, my original equation was this one. And the third case scenario, I'm looking at a equals negative 1. So the base being negative 1, a equals negative 1, and b is even. Of course, th this is the in integer case, right? So if a is negative 1, x squared minus 3x plus 1 equals negative 1, and x plus 1 is even, let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, if x plus 1 is even, then x must be odd, right? So from here, we add 1 to both sides, and we get a quadratic equation which is factorial. You should immediately recognize this because this comes up a lot. x minus 1 times x minus 2. We're basically looking for two numbers whose product is 2 and whose sum is negative 3, and those numbers are negative 1 and negative 2. Great. So from here we get two solutions, x equals 1 and x equals 2. But remember, x must be odd, right? Which is shouldn't be odd, right? I mean, it's normal. So x must be odd, so we're going to reject 2. 2 is not going to work because it's not odd. And you're going to notice that if you replace x with 2, uh, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1 does not equal even, right? 2 plus 1 is not even. Great, so x equals 1 works because it's odd. So that gives us another solution. So how many solutions do we have in total? 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's go ahead and list them together. And now we're going to look at the graph. Negative 1, 0, 1, and 3 looks like the solution set. But let's go ahead and take a look at this graph. The graph of x squared minus 3x plus 1 to the power x plus 1. I also graphed the inequality for you where the base is negative. So on this interval, the shaded region, our uh, x values are going to be, our, our base is going to be negative and uh, our function is going to be not well defined. Therefore, uh, we don't have seem to have any solutions in that region, but uh, we have an integer solution, obviously, which is... Um, what we just found, right? So that's why we don't see all the solutions. We only see three solutions because one of them makes the base negative and it's not 
represented by the graph. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.